Probiotics have been all over the news lately, and store shelves are overflowing with hundreds of different brands to choose from. Unfortunately, many of us still don't know what to look for in a high-quality probiotic, and more importantly, what to avoid. If that's you, this quick video will help you discover everything you need to know to make the most informed decision about your probiotic needs. Here's what to look for in a high-quality probiotic. First, look for a well-balanced probiotic with a high count of colony-forming units, or CFUs. Since our microbiome is composed of about 100 trillion good and bad bacteria, a formula with at least 40 billion CFUs will have greater impact on the growth of beneficial bacteria within your gut flora. Our next suggestion is to find a probiotic with at least nine individual bacteria strains. Diverse strains will help balance your microbiome by populating specific areas of your digestive system that need support. You'll also want to make sure the supplement label provides substrains. These are listed next to each strain and they indicate that it has undergone clinical studies. Many probiotic products fail to list their substrains. This is a big red flag. It means that they might be using cheaper, generic forms of the strain that have not been clinically studied or adequately researched. Try to find a probiotic that has been formulated by a doctor. It takes specific expertise to create an effective formula, and the exact combination of strain type, quantity, and prebiotics determines the product's true quality. Look for real doctors specializing in gut health backing the product. Another way to ensure that your probiotic is effective is to make sure that it's using fiber-based prebiotics like Nutriflora, which will help the probiotics populate and flourish in your gut. Think of prebiotics as the food for your probiotics. Finally, we recommend finding a probiotic that doesn't require refrigeration. Those that do tend to be less stable and lose their effectiveness during shipping. Now that we've gone over what to look for in your probiotic supplement, let's talk about what to avoid. First and most importantly, try to stay away from artificial fillers, colors, and binders such as magnesium stearate, chromium, gelatin, and silicon dioxide. We're also wary of probiotic supplements that do not provide money back guarantees. This means the brands don't stand behind the quality of their product. The last and probably most controversial thing to avoid is relying on Amazon reviews. I know this probably isn't a popular opinion, but hear me out. Our research found that up to 60% of Amazon reviews are actually written by individuals paid to leave positive feedback. We believe that risking your health on fake reviews is too dangerous of a game to play. This isn't a book or a new pair of shoes. It's a pill you're putting into your body. So, based on our own extensive research, the metrics provided by our Smarter Reviews ranking system and consideration of numerous reviews by smarter shoppers just like you, we've compiled a list of the top five products in this category on the market today. Check out our list on the top five probiotic supplements below.